Right, now in the next uh, part of this, part four of this tutorial series, we're looking at how the, uh, the, the reverb effect that we've just sent all our auxiliary seven signals to, how that comes back into the desk and then can be routed from the desk to the loudspeakers so that the audience will be able to hear the reverb effect. So we need to have an actual path or pair of channels on the desk to receive the signal coming back from the reverb. When we finished in the previous tutorial we were looking at the auxiliaries and auxiliary 7 as being the way of sending a signal to the reverb. Now if I choose to look at channels 13 to 24 for example I just have another bunch of just very ordinary input channels which normally we would use for receiving a signal from a microphone. But in this case, I want to receive a stereo reverb effect coming from the desk. So I've pressed channel 13 to 24, which in this case is showing here, and the screens come up with channel 13 showing. And I want to make channel 13 be a stereo channel. By default, it's mono. If I hit up near the top here, I get that little menu, uh, which we always use for setting our inputs. And it does, right at the top, invite me to change it to being a stereo channel, which I'm going to do now. So I've chosen that to be a stereo channel. I'm then going to choose its input. And then, if you remember, the uh, reverb exists as a kind of software version on the desk. So that's internal to the desk. So I'm going to choose internal. And then I'm going to go to effects. And there it is, that one effect that I've built which is called the vocal plate, exists there. Both get selected with one tap because we're now working as a stereo setup, so meaning the left and the right are effectively ganged and will always be selected as one. If I hit close on that, that's my path. And now if I go back to that channel 13 setup, sorry, excuse me, let's try and get rid of that. I'm just, notice please, that this channel is now called vocal plate. So it's picked up its name from the effect that I've chosen to be the path that comes back in, which is convenient. It does also say on the channel itself here that it's vocal plate, and it does say in very small writing at the top, ST for stereo. So it's not going to greedy up the fader next to it. We have a single ganged, ganged stereo channel here. That's sufficient then to give us a way of bringing a stereo effect back in.